Hey guys, um, I'm feeling some, you know, outside. I was outside a lot today and yesterday. I was out in the water doing some healing stuff. And I'm, I'm feeling this vibration come into play. And I thought I'd let us, our crew, give you a heads up. <coughs> As we go up in 4D, I think what we're going to see is we're going to see um, some competition here between the service to self and the service to others sides of this game this dualistic game in the fourth dimension so I think you might see or feel uh, some pressure to lean towards the service to other side so I wanted to reiterate this and and give you all a kind of a heads up and a, and a place to be place to center um, as you stand uh, on your way to 5D, as you say, stay selfish in the Creator God that you are, knowing that your creation, your universe is unique to you, uh, that you may be surrounded with people that agree with you in that split second, but moment to moment, millions of times a second, you are creating your own experience that is unique to you. Nobody can tag along for the ride. Nobody. At all. But I think as we move up in the fourth dimension, I think there's going to, we're going to see a, a bigger battle, a bigger fight about this service to others versus service to self thing. I'm just feeling it starting to really gain some speed here. So I wanted to reiterate that in the fourth dimension, there is this dualistic split big 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 area fourth dimension way outside of the earth and solar system galaxy multiverse universe multiverse many many layers uh, many many beings and lots of aliens and lots of tech and all this stuff there is going to be uh, this is where the du dualistic split is uh, they will there will be those that call it the side of light versus the side of dark uh, good versus bad um, they will say service to others versus service to self. So I wanted to do another video, really give you all some additional energies in this video as well. So you remember, so you can stay, keep focused here and keep centered. Don't let them veer you off one path or the other. Don't get into a battle with these two sides. Remember, you're heading towards unity consciousness with all things and all sides are good all are acceptable all, all are a part of the whole but as you get into this battle I would have to say that as I look out through the fourth dimension from the perspective that I do when I step outside of time and space I would say that by far the more psychologically adept or I'd have to say they're just um, tough. They're, they they put a lot of pressure psychologically uh, in this big dualistic battle between those two sides. Definitely, service to others is um, they're uh, what I would. They're really putting a lot of pressure out there in the fourth dimension, and they do it more on a psychological, verbal arena. Like, uh, if you're not serving others, then you're, there's something wrong with you. That you're not as good as. That you're not going to make it to the next level. That kind of thinking. And I want to reiterate to you that service to others, that no one <laughs> serves others unless it makes them feel good. Therefore, by what I just said, service to others is therefore service to self. Let me say that again service to others because no one serves others unless it makes them feel good therefore serving others is making you feel good so therefore it is ultimately a service to self activity okay so you stand in that knowledge that knowledge that your your experience is unique to you that you change infinite timelines a million to a billion times a second that no one can keep up with that you that you are simply in those moment to moments you are with other creator gods many different levels that happen to agree with you in that very tiny moment 
and that you change within those timelines and are always with a group of people that agree with your vibration uh, or what you're trying to create in that moment but it changes wicked fast and nobody can keep up with you no one is at the same time space uh, place and time a second from now than you were a second ago it's impossible can happen so yours is unique to you your job is to be very very selfish your job is to run your universe it is your job to create your universe your experience if you would like to I was reading something on one of Rich's commenters down below if you want to see a peaceful world then you simply uh, change that belief system in yourself that there is such a thing and then you will go to the timeline where everyone around you creator gods agree with you and you will have a peaceful earth that's how it's done you don't change anybody in this now moment where everybody's fighting no you have to change to a timeline where everyone agrees with you in that moment that there is a peaceful earth you go to that timeline with that peaceful earth and you're there lickety split now if you could remove the uh, belief system that there's war on the planet and and here we go again <laughs> well this first this little being is just super hanging around with me tonight <laughs> it makes me laugh this is this is very yeah I'll let them, them introduce themselves to you or at least ask their permission because I keep forgetting in between these videos I keep coming up with things yeah I know um, <laughs> anyway uh, yeah, I'm going to sit over here, so if you want to, just come and park right there. You don't have to go across. You can stay right there. They'll, they'll, uh, you, they believe in you. They believe in you. Anyway, yeah, if anybody's watching these videos that's not one of us, they'll think I'm totally nuts, right? <laughs> so anyway, I want to reiterate, let you, give you some, you know, hand in hand, arm in arm, uh, how it really works. And this is your experience, you're in charge, you're responsible. If you're not on a peaceful earth, it's because you don't want to be. Or you haven't figured out how to, you know, get over there. <laughs> All right, this way. <laughs> you haven't figured out how to, uh, how to get over to that timeline yet. Uh, I'm going, uh, gradually, but I'm going. And uh, all you guys will be there. Uh, wonderfully so <laughs> well you'll be there with me and uh, it's a wonderful peaceful earth it's totally there it's completely there it's already there uh, you can join there's an aspect of you already there I gotta do is flip over to that aspect okay but yeah so as these guys start putting a lot of pressure on you to be uh, especially you you know paladin types you you know stick up for the underdog type guys good people um, understand that you're not a bad person by simply allowing other creator gods to have the experience that they desire it is your job to move to a timeline where uh, those you're with aspects and everybody agrees on that peaceful planet okay that's how it works as for what it looks like right now that's totally up to you if you want to look at the government like it's horrible then uh, You'll stay on timelines where it's horrible. Uh, if you want to look at the government that it's improving every day and magnificent people are there doing very, very good job, then that is exactly what you'll step through. So that's what I suggest. If you want a good government and uh, a peaceful world, then that's what you need to see um, in spite of what you have seen in the past. Don't pay any attention to that. Like I said, past is the past. It's not relevant. Your job, Creator God, you want to get over to a peaceful earth, to a 5D, uh, then your job is to, as a Creator God, is to insist on that from yourself. And uh, so that's the way you're going to create it. Now, with the service to others people, they can be very, very pushy. They can make people feel very, very not good enough. And I don't want you guys to fall for that. Don't fall for what they're doing, okay? If you want to serve others, then you go right ahead and do it. But how people respond to that action that you are doing for yourself is totally up to them. So don't judge them for 
whatever it is, however they decide to respond to your action. Uh, you can absolutely uh, serve others in any way that you'd like, but I want you to be very, very aware that you are doing it because it makes you feel better. Uh, if it helps the other person, then that's fine. But if it interferes with their life, that's not what you want to do either. And I know that you guys, you guys are totally good with that. You're on top of this. Uh, but I can feel this energy, this wave, trying to come in. And don't let it sidetrack you. Don't let it take your vibrations down. Don't let it uh, doubt yourself over it. Don't doubt yourself over it. Uh, they, too, have their... Um, experience that they're trying to do and one of those they're still in duality so the service to self people are going to try to grab you and make you a slave pretty much like you are now <laughs> depending upon where you are and the service to others are going to make you a slave in a different way they're going to make you uh, 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 feel guilty so that you serve others in a very guilt ridden sort of way and that's not the way you should do it you shouldn't do it um, your job is yourself and I want you to be in charge of yourself because in unity consciousness you're the only one that can do your experience so we really all of us we really need you to do your job and uh, uh, however that is and if it's helping others then so be it if it's not then so be it um, your job is to have your experience and nobody else can do that for you uh, so we really need you to do your job and if everybody did their job, just took care of themselves and their experience, then um, things would be much nicer around here very, very quickly. Uh, but then we would interfere with other people's experience with it not being such a lovely place. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. I'm feeling this service to others energy in those higher as we go past mid-range 4D. A lot of you are and up. Uh, I, I feel like you may be feeling some of this pressure on service to other side because almost all of you that are here talking to me are really honestly good people uh, wanting to make the world a better place so we're just gonna do it with a little bit a little bit different that's all and uh, because you are loving beings all of you uh, I can feel that then you are going to be able to respect that other entity for wanting to have perhaps what you would consider a more difficult life. But as you know, a uh, difficult life is an experience and it is important to the whole. So I'll allow them to have that. So just I just wanted to let y'all remind you that um, uh, no one serves others unless it makes them feel good. Therefore, ultimately, serving others is a service to oneself and that thinking, um, as well as I don't think I need to take you from the service to others, slavery, treating people bad side, over to the middle, because I don't, none of you were over there. So I would be talking to no one, and as far as I can see, no one from that side will ever watch my videos and, and want to learn anything anyway. <laughs> so it's the other side that I want to keep you kind of centered. Remember, unity consciousness, fifth dimension excuse me that's where we're going and that is an acceptance of all experience what you would consider good and bad light and dark all of it merging back together in oneness okay alrighty then um, hopefully this will help um, I can feel that it's it's interacting with some people right now uh, quite a bit so kind of take a look at it around your life you don't need to uh, fight back with these people. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. Uh, just uh, listen to what they say and move on. Move on. Uh, yeah, if, they, if they're like raising up that sword and going in service to others is the only way that you can be a happy person. It's the only way that you can ascend. It's the only way that you can become whole. Well, and that's, that's fine. They can absolutely believe that. Uh, that is not where we are going. Okay? And uh, probably those guys are not going to listen to anything I say at all. They're probably going to be very happy with what I have to say. But I'm not talking to them. I don't want to interfere with their experience. Uh, but I want you all to, uh, as you head towards unity consciousness where everything is accepted, uh, uh, don't let them pressure you 
into uh, serving others out of fear uh, that that is the only way to do things. And it's simply not. Uh, most of your star seeds, you're ser serving others by standing on this planet. And you certainly are serving, helping Gaia. But ultimately, you're doing it because uh, you want to. All of it is you want to. Everybody does. Okay? Both sides. All right. Okay, hopefully that will catch things before it gets um, out of hand. And before there are problems, let's try to catch this before it becomes an issue. And uh, service to other, if you want to serve others, just jump right in there. Uh, but, yeah, don't let them beat you over the head with it. Because we're going to something else. We're doing something else. Those guys are all going to stay and and fight about service to self, service to others, light, dark, in the fourth dimension for a very long time. So, uh, if you want to stay there, that's fine. Uh, go to it, pick sides. But most of the people that I'm talking to, we're heading towards unity, consciousness, where all things are well. Okay? Alrighty then, guys. Uh, geez, I keep thinking this is the last video and something else pops up. Alright? Say goodbye to my little friend that keeps popping in. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go have a conversation with them and try not to do another video so I can find out uh, why they're trying to get my attention so much. Okay? Alright, guys. Have a great night. Uh, huge, huge hugs. I love you so very much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.